package. What could that be? Oh, I think I know what this is. Yep, awesome. Hammock gear. This came a lot faster than I thought it would, actually. Let me grab a couple things, and let's go out in the woods, and we'll take a look at it. Well, we are out in the woods, and it's time to test the product that I just got. But first, I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a happy holidays. Whatever holiday you celebrate, I'm wishing you all well. Second, I want everybody to have a happy new year and be safe because it's very important. There's a lot of tragedies that have been happening recently. Uh, some of those tragedies hit close to home around this time of year and just be safe. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Now well, you might be asking yourself, what is going on here? You got three hammocks, three under quilts, three top quilts. What I want to talk about today is my hammocks and insulation all year round. And I think I finally completed my setup, hopefully. I have a lot of, lot of different types of gear and it took a lot of tries to get everything right. And I'm hoping what was in the box will finally complete an all year round setup for me. So let's take a look at first the winter setup because it is winter. It actually is snowing out here right now and it is freaking beautiful. First up, the uh, Warbonnet Traveler. Definitely got to try out this a couple times this year so far, and I am looking forward to another trip in this thing. Very comfortable. It's like the Warbonnet Blackbird, but it doesn't have the bug net, the foot box, or the shelf. Other than that, it's the same material. Uh, it's really, really light. It's a great first hammock. Comes with cinch buckles or whoopee slings. I decided on cinch buckles for all my hammocks. It just makes it easier setup. And for the insulation of the winter setup, I have an Enlightened Equipment. Revolt under quilt. It's rated down to zero degrees. I've been down to I think 15 or 12 in here. I can't remember uh, But it worked out great. I love this thing. It's definitely warm and inside I have the Enlightened equipment revelation also a zero degree quilt Personally, I like quilts especially for hammocks because you don't need the back insulation on a quilt because uh, the back insulation will get compressed and it really doesn't provide any warmth uh, to you when it's compressed. So that's what the underquilt does. It kind of uh, burritos you and uh, makes you warm all round. And then you can just wear a hat because these don't have hoods. So zero degree setup. This should go down to zero or five degrees, whatever. And then for spring and fall, we have this down here, the Warbonnet Blackbird. It's a integrated bug net, has a shelf, has a foot box right here with this little triangle they put right here so you can kind of put your feet out. And in here, I have an Enlightened Equipment Revelation 40 degree top quilt. And then the bottom insulation is an Enlightened Equipment uh, Revolt 30 degree under quilt. Now you can see that both of these quilts are full length, meaning they are going to cover my head and they are going to cover my feet, as you can see. Now, I start getting hot in this thing around the 62 degree mark exactly. There's something about 62 degrees with no wind that just makes this setup semi, I don't want to say uncomfortable, but it could use a lot of venting. So what I end up doing, I end up kicking a leg out. Uh, I end up just kind of opening this area to allow some airflow. And personally, I think a 30 degree under quilt is perfect for me. Uh, it, you know, everybody's different. It really is. It all depends on your body type. Um, I think I tend to sleep maybe a little cold. I'm not sure. But like I said, around the 60 degree mark, this started to get a little sweaty, even with venting. So I end up kicking a leg out. Uh, and sometimes I would tuck it back in in the middle of the night. So that led me to this setup right here. Again, it's a Warbonnet Blackbird. And inside I have a, I have the $20 Costco down throw. It's just a quilt. There's not much to it. Just a little bit of down in there. And it's good to about probably like 50, 53 degrees, somewhere around that range. I really haven't found the low yet, but hopefully this year I will. Now, what was in the box? Well, this was in the box. Hammock gear. Hammock gear Phoenix 40 degree 
underquilt. Now the Phoenix model is a three quarter length underquilt. Now with three quarter length underquilt, and especially with the 40 degree three quarter length underquilt, that means this is going to be my summer setup. I wanted to get out here and test it a little bit, kind of, uh, you know, throw it on some trees, see how it looks, see where it fits me. And some of you might be asking, well, do you have problems with your enlightened equipment quilts? No, I really, really have zero complaints about both of them. They're, they're perfect. Actually, all four quilts are perfect, the under quilts and the top quilts. The reason I went with hammock gear, and Enlightened Equipment does sell a three-quarter length underquilt. You just, you know, get it to size. But I wanted to try a different product, and that's one of my roles here to, with the channel, is I want to help, you know, get the knowledge out there about different products. So, at the last second, I decided against Enlightened Equipment, and I chose hammock gear instead. I had plenty of time to get it. There was real no reason other than to try a different product. Uh, hammock gear makes good products. I have a Cuban fiber tarp. I have a pillow of theirs, and they've all been working out okay. So the 40 degree will be used from temperatures 50 to 70 degrees to the point where I don't need any kind of insulation. Around the 70 degree mark, sorry there's a plane flying over. So I think this setup paired with the 50 degree Costco down throw, I think it's going to be fantastic. So let me get in here and see how it is. Now with the three quarter length underquilt, your feet will be sticking out. So what I'm gonna, what I'm planning on doing, is taking this Dutchware sit pad. Get these for like five bucks, DutchwareGear.com, or AliExpress has them for like a dollar, I think. Uh, free shipping from China, so it does take a while to get to, but they work well as well. Oh, let's get in here and see where this falls on me. Now these trees are spread semi far apart, but they will work. All right, let's get these shoes off. feel crazy getting in a 40 degree, 50 degree quilt setup while it's snowing, but I really want to try this out. I really do. Okay. Get my pad here. All right. Now you can see, three quarter length quilt comes right by my shoulders. That's perfect. I'll have a pillow behind me for that insulation. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but my feet are right about here on the other side. So I can definitely feel the warmth on my back, but I can definitely feel the cold air on my feet. So to combat that, combat the cold air on your feet, you just throw a pad, in this case a Dutchware sit pad, under your feet. And yeah, I can actually feel that warmth right away. That's actually, uh, that's really good. It's not bad at all. And then we'll put the quilt on. This will be my warm weather setup. This is actually uh, pretty nice. It's actually pretty warm, even for 32 degrees, 33 degrees, whatever it is out here. <laughs> it's actually really comfortable. Now you can see the design I don't, well, actually, I don't know if you can see it, but the design of the hammock gear is meant to leave you, um, it's like a, a recliner is the only way I can describe it. Uh, it's not cut straight or curved like the uh, Enlightened Equipment quilts. It actually comes up on your feet. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then it makes like a, an imp a depression where your butt is. So, yeah, I could definitely, uh, I could definitely pass out in here. Now, it being 30 whatever degrees is, yeah, I can feel it on my feet. It, it is a little bit cold. But my back is completely warm. This is going to be a great setup, I think. And uh, hopefully this will solve some of the issues of me sweating throughout the night. You know, when I go to bed, I might be, you know, a little cold because I'm just getting in the hammock. So, you know, if I fall asleep fast, I'll wake up and I'll be a little bit warmer than I'm supposed to be. So I think this is going to be a great setup. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm looking forward to getting out. I was hoping it would be uh, a ton of snow and we could do some snowshoeing already, but it's the weather is just it's been a lot warmer than usual. I don't know. It's really cool. It's snowing right now. That's cool. 
Anyway, like I said guys, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and please have a happy and safe New Year. Take it easy guys.